even in a an SHTF situation, you got to enjoy yourself a little bit. You got to have uh, some comfort in uh, the food you eat once in a while. To, you know, you can't just eat rice and beans all day long. So, what I'm going to show you today is how to make a very quick and easy dessert with just uh, you know a very minimal amount of preps. I mean, of course, I'm using store-bought milk here. Uh, but you can use powdered milk, or you can even uh, use uh, milk from a cow if you, uh, you know, happen to have a cow on your farm or whatever. I'm sure you'd be in a better spot than I would. But uh, it's a quick and easy dessert, okay? And basically, all you need is a packet of instant Jello, or you can use the cook and serve Jello um, pudding if you want a more mushier dessert so to speak you'll see what i mean in a minute but this is the uh, in, uh regular instant pudding from jello chocolate okay uh i'm sure you can use all the flavors chocolate is what we like so basically we'll start it out take your mixing bowl put your Chuck pudding in the bowl. Take your milk. You need three cups. All right. And you're going to pour that into the bowl and make your pudding. What you do is you got to mix this for two minutes, and then in five minutes. It will totally be set. Another thing, make sure the milk you have is cold milk. If uh, you use the cook and serve, of course you will be heating everything up. And the pudding, of course, will be hot at the time you're making this and it will uh, it will actually uh, make the graham crackers, which we're going to add to this in a second, uh, more mushier. Um, if you don't like a mushier and you want a more crunchy, consistent, uh, you know, feel to the dessert, you would, uh, of course, just use the instant with the cold milk. Now what we're going to do, put that to the side for a second, let it set. Take your graham crackers and a small little Pyrex. If you want to make it bigger, you can just use a bigger Pyrex and more pudding. Two packs of pudding instead of one. And somehow when I do this all the time, they come out broken. You don't really want them broken if possible. So. Alright, oh, there you go. See, that's what I mean. But that's alright. Put the broken ones here. What you're going to do is you're going to take your graham crackers and you're going to line the bottom of the Pyrex and uh, take the broken ones and fill the spots. Sometimes you got to do a little manipulating to get the bottom row to fit. All right. Good glue on these things. Put them to the side. All right. And now you're gonna take your pudding, which should be pretty much set up at this point, hopefully, and pour a little bit in the bottom of the bowl. And you wanna spread it out. Stay there, behave, you're going to get eaten, doesn't really matter, you can fight, but resistance is futile. Try 
try to make a, an even layer. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do the opposite direction now. Make another layer. And you can take the grams. All right. And Put that in there for the most part. Come back, add another layer. <coughs> Excuse me. Oops. Hit my uh, tripod here. It's not good. All right. And then one more time. Uh, now you start back on the other side. All right. And the graham crackers basically just give substance to this so-called graham and pudding cake dessert. Alright, now the last amount of pudding goes on the top. Try to get all the pudding, don't waste it. Pudding is king. I'm loving my chocolate pudding. Got kids, let them go to work with the bowl. I'm sure they're gonna love doing that. Alright. And you are pretty much done. That's it. Now what you're gonna do, you take some aluminum foil just enough to cover your Pyrex alright make it nice and tight put it in the fridge an hour or two later uh, you come back out and you eat it nice and cold now um, you know if you don't if we don't have power in an SHTF situation, go to work. I mean, you just eat it this way. But it really tastes better cold if possible. So that's what you do. And uh, enjoy. All right. So it's been a couple hours. Come back. Take off the aluminum. All right. What you do is you get yourself a knife. And... Uh, Score it up. Let's go through it one more time. Make sure all the cuts are good. All right. So I got it in the sink. First one's always a pain in the neck to get out of there, so hopefully we don't make a mess of it too much here. Um, well, let's see, we're coming from this way. There we go. Alright, there you go. Look at that. Multi-layered pudding cake. Alright. What you do? Put that there. Get yourself a little ready whip, if you have it, that's the way I like it. Hopefully mine's going to come out good. Oh, not much left. 
And then get the spoon. Oh, spoon, get a fork, I mean. And go to work. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. You need to try that. Now leave me alone. I want to eat my dessert in peace. Can't get any better than that.